Oh, hey future presidents, Dom here. So as you saw, I just hit a tennis ball. And what that did was it traveled in projectile motion. But there are other things you can do with a tennis ball that give it some unique properties. For example, you can hit with top spin like this from down to up. That will cause the ball to spin this way. As a result, if it's traveling this way, you have more air drag on the top than on the bottom, which will cause it to go downwards due to the Magnus effect. So you can hit top spin like this. As you can see, I hit the ball very high, yet it still managed to go into the court due to the Magnus effect. You can also hit the ball with backspin. So if you go from high to low, you hit it like this, it causes the ball to spin like this and do the Magnus effect, it will go up. So you can go like this. You might not have seen it, but there is backspin on the ball. <laughs> also, sometimes tennis players will hit the ball flat, which just means there's not as much spin. So like, like that. And it's, it's very useful in tennis because you can put more of the energy into going forward so you hit the ball hard. Topspin is really important in tennis. Because the ball travels down more quickly, you can hit it harder and have it stay in the court. For example, with topspin, I can do this. As you can see, I hit it pretty hard, but it still stayed in the court. Alternatively, if I didn't hit with any topspin, it would look more like this. Been good. Slice is also pretty important in tennis because it has some interesting properties. For example, because of the backspin, whenever it bounces, it tends to skid and it won't bounce as high. For example, here's a slice. As you can see, the ball bounced pretty low. If I had just a normal shot, it'll bounce a bit higher. This effect doesn't have to just act up and down. It can also act sideways, like this. This is top spin. This is slice. This is flat. Oh, beautiful. <laughs>